Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast from javascript.info, the modern javascript tutorial. We are working in part two, the browser document events and interfaces, and we just came through section 1.5 and are going into section 1.6. Now backing up into section 1.5, this diagram and discussion of inheritance and objects probably only makes good sense to you if you already have a C-based object-oriented background. But if JavaScript is your first language, this is a lot to absorb. In my opinion, the important things to come from this lesson include understanding that the web page, when it is rendered in the browser, is parsed into a DOM tree, document object model tree, full of nodes. And that each one of those nodes, whether it's a text node, an element node, or a comment node, has different properties and methods available to it that JavaScript can speak to. That's really the heart of this discussion. When we go into the next tutorial, which is attributes and properties, the main point to take from this is that the author is confirming what he introduced in the previous tutorial. HTML has attributes, and we speak to those attributes, whether it's the value attribute of an input box or the href attribute of an anchor tag through JavaScript properties. The attribute property mapping is not one-to-one, -one, and we studied that in the previous tutorial where the class HTML attribute is identified with the class name JavaScript property. And this tutorial has some interesting nuggets such as how to create your own properties for a object, the fact that some HTML attributes when referenced as JavaScript properties are Boolean, which is the checked property for an input element that's either a checkbox or a radio button. The checked attribute would be Boolean versus string. And also the fact that you may see some data dash attributes in your HTML and they're reserved for programmer's use and are available in a data set property. As long as you know that HTML attributes are referenced through JavaScript properties, that's the core knowledge that a beginner would need to know. I did find one interesting nugget from the previous tutorial that I wanted to mention. If I right click and inspect, open up my developer's console and click the console tab, he did make a nice note about console logging out an object in the DOM. For example, the document body object. And we've been using console log a lot. It's my best friend in my program because I can log out the value of any variable at any point in time. But console logging out an object will give us the um, tree. So I see the body and I see every element inside that body and I can drill down and see the children elements. If I clear the console, press my up arrow key to get the previous statement and change the log method to dir method, then I'm going to receive a list of all the properties and methods that that object contains. So if you want to look at an object's properties and methods, use console.dir. If you want to look at the DOM tree and the parent and children elements, use console.log. And with these skills, I want to clarify one thing, and that is objects and properties. If I console log out document.body.style, I end up with the CSS style declaration and these curly braces, and it looks like an object. If I expand that, I get the properties of that object. Just to make sure it's an object, I could use the type of operator and figure out what the type of that thing is, and object is revealed. However, style is also a property. Style is a property of whatever object it is referring to. If I console dir document body, then I'm going to get the properties of that body object. And I'm going to expand that, and I can see in the list that style, way down here, is indeed a property of the body object. Style is a property of every object in the DOM that can be styled. It's just that what does that property contain? That property contains an object, which itself has more properties. And if I expand the style property, I see all of the properties in that style object that I can modify through my JavaScript. That's why in these tutorials, it's impossible to cover all the properties 
of an object and what can be modified. So we're just picking out some of the most popular ones. But with these skills in your console, you can dig down and examine exactly what properties a particular object contains. Thank you.